afternoon from the CBS 19 newsroom. I'm Jillian Sheridan. And I'm Justin Early. One person is dead and four injured after a trailer of fireworks exploded in Comanche, west of Waco. City officials say it happened on the high school softball fields where the Kiwanis Club plan to hold a show tomorrow night. There's no word exactly what went wrong. There's a new movement to organize common law grand juries. In fact, a group is working to make it happen right here in East Texas. We're looking at why some are dissatisfied with the judicial system and how the grand juries work tonight. Nine people faced charges after two separate raids in Gregg County yesterday. Two women were arrested on drug charges at the Contessa Inn in Longview, and six women were arrested accused of exposing themselves at a place not licensed for nude performance at the Fantasy Ranch. That's a bikini bar between Kilgore and Longview. Another man was arrested for selling alcohol without a permit. Many people count on generic drugs as a way to save money, but the price of those medications is rising, some increasing 10 or 20 times the original cost in just the past year and a half. We're talking to an East Texas pharmacist about the reasons why and what patients should do tonight. Three Texas teenagers looking to catch fish netted more than they bargained for. A six-foot alligator in Cleburne. They were checking out their fishing net on Buffalo Creek Tuesday night when they discovered that alligator. What they say about their unusual catch coming up tonight. All that plus weather and sports on KYTX CBS 19 News at 5 and 6. Visit CBS19.tv online anytime for the latest. We'll see you tonight.